here's some do's and don'ts when it comes to creating your next Excel workbook. There are two main aspects when you design an Excel spreadsheet. First, the structure of the workbook. Second, the visual design of the worksheets. This video is brought to you by Excel Essentials for the Real World. Learn Excel from scratch or fill in the gaps to become immediately confident. Discover hidden tips and tricks which get you working smarter, not harder. Click on the link below or type in xclplus.com slash courses. Let's cover structure first. Keep raw data separate to the analysis. By separate, I mean in separate tabs. Each sheet should have a purpose you can easily explain. For example, in this report, the data tab has the raw data. Dashboard has the final report. All calculations are done in the calculation tab, and the control tab has a summary of the changes made to the dashboard together with timestamps. We create this report from scratch in my Excel dashboard course. Finalizing an Excel workbook is usually not a one-time task. Requirements change, company structures change. Keep an overview of the changes you make in the workbook in a separate tab. Make a note of the change and add a timestamp. No one likes to document, but taking the time to do it is gonna save you a lot of time later on. If you're distributing the workbook for others to use or for others to input, add an instruction sheet. If you're using abbreviations or keys, define what these are on this sheet. Outline the purpose of each tab and write a set of guidelines and instructions. It might be clear for you what your report or tool is meant to do, but it's not gonna be clear for everyone. Excel does have a good file recovery system, so if something goes wrong and you wanna go back to a previous version, you generally can, but if you wanna be on the safe side, it helps to keep a copy of the file. Now let's talk about visual design. If you think there's a slight chance that someone at the office will print out the sheets or export the file as PDF, make sure you prepare it for printing. Check each tab, go to print preview and adjust as you see fit. Also add headers and footers to your pages. You might wanna add the file address if it's an internal report you might want to add the date. Just make sure whatever you do that you add page numbers. This makes it more obvious if something goes missing. Keep a consistent color code for different purposes. Let's say you're creating a file that you want to distribute to collect sales information from different divisions. Use color to help the users know which fields are for input and which are calculated. For example, you could design them like this. Use a subtle color for the input cells. Or you can design it like this. Keep the input cells white and add a color for the calculated ones. Whichever method you choose, keep it consistent throughout your work. Also make sure you don't use too much color or a background color that's too close to the font color. Ensure there is a good contrast so the content is readable. Basically, design it in a way that's appealing to consume. Use formatting, but don't use excessive formatting. A lot of us spend hours figuring out how to do the analysis and then doing the analysis. We forget to put the time to organize our files and reports, take the clutter away, give the data set structure, make certain areas stand out and others not so. This makes it easier and more appealing for others to understand your file and also for yourself when you come back later to it. Think of your file as your workplace. We're more productive when our workplace is clean and it's not cluttered. Do the same to your file. Take some time and clean it up. The other side effect of proper formatting is appreciation. Let me explain. Imagine your boss is coming over for dinner. You spend hours preparing a meal. You go to the farmer's market, you buy the best ingredients, make the best meal you've ever managed to make. Now, when it comes to serving him or her, you just dump everything on a plate and you serve. Your boss will probably not be too impressed. It might still taste amazing, but they're not gonna appreciate all the time you spent preparing it. Like the saying goes, you eat with your eyes first. So if you just spent a few minutes organizing everything nicely on the plate, like good chefs do, your boss will love it. 
Put the same effort in your work. Organize before you serve. I hope you found these tips useful. Keep them close at hand. Refer to them when you create your next workbook. Thank you.